hey guys what's going on so in this video we are going to learn how we can spoof our mac address to gain access to unauthorized wireless network so when i say unauthorized wireless network i mean those open wi-fi's which have a blacklist or a whitelist enabled such kind of wi-fi's can be found at hotels or airports or educational institution where they have made their wi-fi public and they want to control the crowd so we are going to learn how to bypass both blacklist and whitelist in this particular video all right so on the right hand side you can see a mobile device and i'm going to set up a hotspot in it i have already pre-configured the hotspot and it's open by default and its name is cyber devils so now if i go to the bottom and click on the connected devices section you can see that no devices has been connected till now so now let me go ahead and connect my parrot operating system to the cyber devils hotspot and as you can see the MAC address of my VLAN 0 interface which I used to connect to the hotspot is clearly visible under the connected devices section. So now let me go ahead and type MAC changer space hyphen s space VLAN 0 and it will show me the MAC address of the VLAN 0 interface which I used to connect to that hotspot. And as you can see the current MAC address is the same as the MAC address under the connected devices section. So now let me pause for a minute and tell you an important thing. Here you can see that the current MAC address and the permanent MAC address both of them are the same. That means I have not yet spoofed my MAC address and I am about to spoof my MAC address which I will which I'll be showing you right now. So the first step involved in spoofing a MAC address is to bring the wireless interface down. So for that type ifconfig space wireless interface space down and then type MAC changer space hyphen R space VLAN 0 and it will spoof your MAC address to a random MAC address as you can see. Now we are going to bring back the wireless interface. Now when it gets automatically connected you can clearly see that the MAC address is now completely different and it has been spoofed. Now you might be thinking how I can revert back to the permanent MAC address. Well there are two ways to achieve so. The first way is to restart your computer and it will automatically restore your permanent MAC address. But the second way is to use MAC changer. So right now let me show the VLAN 0 MAC address again. And as you can see the current MAC address is that randomly generated MAC address. And now if I type MAC changer space hyphen P space VLAN 0 it's gonna change my new MAC address to the permanent MAC address. So that's how you revert your MAC address using MAC changer. All right, so now we are gonna learn how we can bypass a blacklist. So let me first show you my current MAC address. As you can see, the current MAC address is the same as permanent MAC address and I have not spoofed yet. Now, if I go to the blacklist, you can clearly see that the current MAC address is under the blacklist. So that means if I go ahead and connect to that particular hotspot, as you can see, it's not going to allow me to connect to that particular hotspot. And it's going to take me forever. So, in order to bypass this, we are going to spoof our MAC address to a completely different random MAC address which is different than our permanent MAC address. So, the first step involved is to bring down the wireless interface. Then, type MAC changer space hyphen R space VLAN 0 which will assign it a completely different MAC address. As you can see under the new Mac section. Now we are going to bring back the wireless interface by typing this particular command. Now if we go ahead and connect to the wireless network, you can clearly see that within seconds our parrot operating system has been connected to that particular hotspot. Alright, so now we are going to learn how we can bypass a whitelist. Alright, so as you can see on the right hand side, a device is already connected to that particular hotspot and its MAC address is completely different from that of our permanent MAC address. So if I were to go ahead and connect to Cyber Devils Network, you can see that I am not being authorized to connect and it will take me forever to connect to that particular hotspot. The reason is because this particular hotspot will only allow those devices which have the MAC address specified on the right hand side. Now, a way to bypass this whitelisting is to basically spoof our MAC address to the MAC address which is specified on the right hand side. So the first step is to bring down the wireless interface, then type MAC changer space hyphen M space the MAC address of the device which has already been connected to that particular Wi-Fi network which is shown on the right hand side, space the VLAN 0 which is the wireless interface which you have used to connect to that particular hotspot. 
and as you can see the new MAC address is the same as the MAC address which is shown on the right hand side. Now we're gonna bring our wireless interface up. For that type ifconfig space lan0 space up. And now if I go ahead and connect to that particular hotspot, you can see that we have now been given access and we connected successfully. So guys that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this particular video and you gained a lot of knowledge. Now in the next video we're gonna learn how we can kick people off from the Wi-Fi network without actually connecting to that particular Wi-Fi network. And this particular attack is known as the authentication attack or denial of service attack or as many of you call it a DOS attack. So we're going to cover that particular attack in the next video. So until then take care bye bye and see you in the next video.